seconds, please. Come on, man. Blow, baby. Blow. I thought you were full of hot air, Reed. <laughs> come on, Reed. <laughs> they're treat candles, Spence, OK? They, they're going to come back on every time. <laughs> oh, mommy to the rescue. <laughs> mommy? <you know. laughs> Ignore him. Isn't it amazing he knows what he knows, and he's only 24? Reed, does it make you legal yet? Master one, he'll know by 50. Okay. Hope you like chocolate. <laughs> Agent Hot, sir. Oh, look, you blew wax on the cake, man. You having fun? Yes, definitely. I'm definitely having fun. Make a wish? Can I take this hat off? I wouldn't. Hey, Spence. First piece for the birthday boy. Do you know she's the only person in the whole world who calls me Spence? <laughs> Spence, get over here. Happy birthday. Thank you. Birthday boy. <laughs> Did everyone get some? Sorry, guys. Party's over. <sighs> it's 10.30 already. All he said was tomorrow. He didn't specify morning. Reed, this guy's got to spend a lot of time in that house. A lot. He needs it to be morning. Are we sure this is a good spot? Three of the victims lived within a block of this street. It's the main artery through the neighborhood. True, but three victims in the same block could mean he's done with the area. Or that he's just really familiar with it. And comfortable in it. But then on the other hand, the other victims live more than a mile in either direction. Not having a plan. We're looking for a needle in a haystack here. Actually, it's more like we're looking for a needle in a pile of needles. What? A needle would stand out in a haystack. <laughs> okay. And we're not looking for someone who stands out. No, we're looking for a particular needle in a pile of needles. Reed failed his qualification. Uh, he can retest in two weeks. Yeah, but he's going to be embarrassed about it, so let's not mention it. Yeah. That's not, huh? Not a word. Hey. We're all here for you. I'm serious. If you ever need anything, Just blowing it. <laughs> hey, Franklin Park displays yesterday afternoon three victims shot at. As near as we can tell, your age is still all right. Has the subject asked for anything? Made any demands? Not beyond wanting to talk to a higher authority. How do we negotiate with a psychotic who won't talk to us? That depends on the level of his particular delusion. Some psychotics believe they're being sent messages by the government, God, even aliens. Uh, John Nash. He believed he was being recruited by aliens to save the world. I saw the movie. Uh, actually, the movie's rather inaccurate in its okay, portrayal Doug, of... Okay, Doug, Doug, A movie review's not gonna help us right now. Let's move. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. ...that are loosening of associations. As long as he can systematize, he'll be able to keep his thinking relatively organized. Organized enough to see through any game we try to throw at him? And if he's convinced it's in his arm and not in a place like his lower back or his neck... An incision means he's gonna be watching. Maybe we can just convince him that he's been looking in the wrong place. Or we could fake it. Conceal a chip in the palm, a little uh, sleight of hand. Oh, come on, Reed, what are you talking about, a magic trick? Yeah, I'm talking about a magic trick. No. I, I used to do it during college exams. I, I can make it appear, I can make it disappear. We can't risk giving him another agent as a hostage. We have to do something. All right, Reed, let's go, teach it to me. What, no. Look, if you can do it, I can do it, show it to me. I've been practicing this my whole life. We have less than 30 minutes. Reed. I am not about to let you get on that train with an armed psychotic. We don't have any other choice, do we? No. We don't have any other choice. Reed, do not take this vest off. In hostage situations, SWAT sometimes won't even tell the negotiator when they're deciding to go in. Do you know why that is? Because the slightest change in tone of voice or choice of words can give the whole thing away. That's right. 
Don't make eye contact with L. You're a technician. You've never seen him before. Got it. And remember, play into the guy's fantasy. Believe it yourself. Actually, did you know that dentists and surgeons have been recruited to secretly implant these during otherwise normal medical procedures? This has been happening on and off since the late 1930s. <laughs> Told me to believe. <laughs> Let's go. All right. One government-issued microchip. You gotta relax, man. The chip's a lot smaller than I'm, I'm used to doing it with, all right? I'm pulling the plug on this. No, no, hold on. One more. Take his chip out there and get off the train, you understand? Tell him you need to get back to higher authority, so you have guidelines to follow, whatever. Do not stay in there with him. That's an order. Yes, sir. Do you guys do me a favor? Anything. Could at least one of you look like you're gonna see me again? See you when you get back. <laughs>